Hey. So today, um, I'm making something different. I'm making uh, bourbon glazed and brown sugar carrots. Or to that, and oh, I'm making tuna steak. Tuna steak. Of course, Tony's still on her diet, so. Um, <laughs> yes, I am. To this frying pan, I have a half a stick of butter. Oh, butter, butter, butter. And to that butter, we're going to melt. Obviously, it's melted. And we're just going to simmer these till they're a little fork tender. I cut them all the same size. Hi, Nikki. Hi, John. I cut them all the same size so that they uh, will cook evenly. And to that, I will be adding brown sugar to that and a half a cup of bourbon. Well, that's small, so I may not add as much. Ooh. Um, we're having an arugula and pear salad. So I have a cast iron stove here, hot. I gotta get it a little hotter. Okay, and what do you have back there in that pot? I have in this pot. This yeah. is uh, it's like a dipping sauce, but it's basically what I'm marinating the. Going to be rubbing the fish in. Okay. It's hoisin sauce. It's uh, soy sauce. Um, a little bit of sesame oil, and I can't remember what else I put. I'll, I'll put it at the bottom of the uh, website, though. <laughs> Sorry. So I have my two beautiful tuna steaks right here. Okay. And to the tuna steaks, I am going to put them in this little bit of a marinade. And the marinade has um, sesame oil and soy sauce. So this is going to get nice and coated. I don't want it overly wet. I'm going to put it right back here. Put this one in here. Cast iron pan's getting nice and hot. I can feel it. I can feel the heat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this and then I'm going to roll it in the black and white sesame seeds. If you don't have black and white sesame seeds, you can buy white sesame seeds and toast them until they turn dark. Done deal. That looks good. Yeah. From here, yeah. Okay, so now this is gonna go in this hot smoking pan. There doesn't need to be any more oil because there's oil already on the steak. We don't wanna try not to burn that. No, it looks good, Nick, doesn't it? I can't wait to taste it. I requested fish for this week. Yep, you requested it. Now we know just so you guys know, when they say sushi tuna, sushi grade tuna, any tuna fish can be sushi grade tuna. You know what the you know what it takes to make sushi grade tuna? What does it take to make sushi grade tuna? What does it take <laughs> to make sushi grade tuna? Tuna fish that you buy in the supermarket, put it in a Ziploc bag and throw it in the freezer for seven days. Seven days. Then take it out, thaw it out, and guess what you have? Wait, isn't that the Lord's number? Yes. Okay. Guess what you have after you do that? What? Sushi grade tuna. Sushi grade tuna. Basically, you're turning, you're killing all the bacteria. Lisa that. Marie loves tuna steaks. There you go. Perfect. What do we got here? So that's our carrots. Mm, they to look the good. carrots, I'm going to add a little bit of brown sugar. Brown sugar. And then I'm going to add. My bourbon. Bourbon. My makers. We got Makers Mark Bourbon. His favorite. Basically, you're going to just cook that until pretty much all the alcohol cooks off. Mm, I can smell it. And the salad will have a, it'll be a pear arugula salad. If for whatever reason you want to add a little bit, you can. A little bit of Sesame oil. Four minutes, four minutes, four minutes. You basically, it, it, it has to be uh, gray and then pink inside. That's how you know you had a real good steak. It's supposed to be like a raw ish sort of a meal. So we're doing four minutes on each side? Yeah. So how many sides does it have? Uh, it has one, two, three, four, five, six. Five sides. Five sides. So you just don't want the you don't want the. Uh, that's the steak. twenty. That should be twenty minutes. Then. Yeah, you don't want the steak okay. itself to burn. Okay. 
Sometimes you could actually put this when you're done cooking it in a Ziploc bag and throw it in the freezer for a little bit. Everybody says hi. Hi. And the reason why you put it in the freezer... <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Lisa Marie. You basically take it out of the freezer. Uh, it kind of tightens up the fish, which makes it a little more easier to cut. That's all. And this sauce... I, all I did was add a slurry to that, and that's just water and cornstarch to make it thick like that. But it's basically the soy sauce. My, it's everything I just basically marinated it in. Can um, you do the grill? I'm sorry, can, can you, you cook grill? it on a grill? Yeah. yeah, you can cook it on a grill, um, but you need to be very careful and very attentive to the tuna steak because it will go through... I would personally would you get put a it, sizzle pan. I was just going to say that. Put a sizzle pan on top of the grill and cook it that way. So yes, to your question, Lisa Marie, you can grill it, but you're going to need a sizzle pan to place on top of the grill, the grill plates, so okay. your tuna doesn't go through the grill plates. Yeah, I mean, you don't want the tuna to stick to the grate. No. And who has a perfectly, perfectly, perfectly clean grill grate? John says he adds parsley to my carrots, but these carrots are Different. with brown sugar. Brown sugar. And butter and butter bourbon. And bourbon. That's it. No parsley no today, parsley. John. It's, only, it's, it's, it's a vegetable. It's only like a very s slight side. Because the fish, I mean, you really wouldn't put um, uh, carrots with this. It would normally just go with the green, and that's why the green it is the salad. So this is almost done. I'm going to get rid of this. And now I have my salad, my arugula, and to my arugula dressing. Oops, excuse me. I'm not going to move. To my arugula dressing. You want me to take the tongs out? Of uh, the pan? Sure. Lay them on the side. To the arugula dressing, I have olive oil, a little bit of lemon. That's right here. And fresh grated ginger. Oh. Okay. Now I'm going to slice a few pears. Leave that there. I was thinking about doing this, so I don't know. You're going to be the first to find out. So I'm going to slice a pear like that. And then I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to get my trusty, dusty grater. Hi, Deborah. Did you get your um, package yet? It did get shipped. Let us know when you get your sauces. Oh, no. Perfect. This is for a pear salad with the arugula. See how thin I did it? I don't think I'd be able to do that with a knife. Nice. All right. I'll take this out to rest. Don't mind the paper plate, it's only resting. Let it rest, it's going to get shut off. Oh, he makes his sweet, his sweet potatoes. Yes, um, Nick, he makes his sweet potatoes that way also, and they're phenomenal. Okay, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Done. His sweet bourbon mashed potatoes are okay. unbelievable. To the salad, right, to the salad to the I'm going to get that ginger that I made. That's the ginger dressing. Lemon, olive oil. Notice today, no garlic. I don't want it overly dressed. I just want it loose. Like that. So to that, I'm going to plate the salad, like that. a radish would be pretty here, for color. Mm -hmm. oh. You know what else you could use? You can use cheese, like a crumbled blue cheese, would be very good with the salad and the fish. Carrots. 
drain the bourbon off. Put them right there. Excuse me. You know what? I'll leave the other one too. So that's two different dishes I'm using. <laughs> And the reason why I'm using two different dishes is because I don't think it was gonna it's gonna work well for plating purposes if I just used one. I was thinking about it, I ran through it a couple of times, I'm like, you know what, that's not gonna look very well. So I'm gonna get some green onions that I've had. I put some right over here. I'm gonna get my where's my soy sauce? Oh, it's not soy sauce. Sorry, excuse me. Get some soy sauce here. So you can dip your sushi or your tuna. Like that. And I'm gonna get my other dish. And I'm gonna get my salad here. Put my salad right there like that. I can't see. Sorry, I'll move. I'm gonna get my pears. Excuse me. Let me get my. See, it's a little thick, this sauce. Oh. Would you call this what a gastric? I don't know. <laughs> you could. Excuse me. Now it's comes time to cut our tuna. You want your cut your tuna thin, and you want to cut your tuna in one slice. You don't want to saw your tuna. Come on, see, it would have been smarter if I would have stuck it in the freezer. And I just said not to saw it, and I'm sawing it. So I have my tuna. Oh, darn it. That's not good. Sorry, guys. Trying to find that knife. Donny Donny. Don't know what you did with that knife. <clears throat> Don't know what knife you're talking about. <laughs> I clean and I put things away. Sometimes I don't even know where I put them at. That's your dish. There you go. Here's your ahi tuna with glazed carrots and bourbon and brown sugar and your uh, pear salad with a gastrique for dipping. And the other one would have to put it on top of the uh, on top of the salad. Are you gonna plate the other dish? Yeah. Okay. This is a little more well done, more for Natalia's liking. Looks delicious, Nikki says. Thank you. That's going to be for Natalia, right? Yep. Sophia should try some. So now for that, you get your little dressing that you made. Excuse me. You get your little dressing that you made. Down here like that. And you get your chopsticks. And you pick your chopsticks like this. And they are from Japan. They're from Japan. And this is the other one. I mean I kind of like So we have two types of I like that one. Presentations. We have I like that presentation better than that one, but to that one. So either one will work, right? Yeah. 
It just depends on what you have available. Yeah. I didn't like, I didn't want to put this, I did not want to put the tuna on top of the salad. I wanted it to be separate, but. I kind of like it that way. It is what it is. Which ones do you like? Do you like it on the larger plate or do you like it on the smaller plate? All right. Don't forget to visit me at oleanersfoods.com if you feel like getting some sauce, some gravy, some bolognese, some vodka. I'll be placing this video on YouTube and um, share, subscribe, like, purchase. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay apart. I'll see you next week. I'm making a pot. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'll see you what? Tomorrow, today's when? Tuesday? What? Tuesday. Thursday, I'm making a pasta dish. Ooh. So it's not red gravy. It's not Sunday gravy. It's, just, it's really no gravy. I'm making a pasta dish. Please tune in about same time, 4.35 o'clock. I'll see you then. Stay safe. Take care.